We met in high school and we just became good friends from having the same kind of personalities and just wanting to have a good time. I remember when I met him, I just thought he was really hot, like everybody thinks in high school. <laughs> Um, however, I was dating his friend. When I moved down to Arizona, we stayed in contact and she came down and visited a few times and got more and more serious and finally decided to make a decision to start dating. And okay, So I think I had been to Arizona like one time and he was living with his aunt and his uncle so I became pretty close to his aunt and his uncle. They had given us a gift card to go to P.F. Chang's on a date. So I'll never forget like going to like downtown Arizona with Derek, holding hands. Like She kind of ordered because I'm not really picky when it comes to food. I feel like it was like our first official date maybe. And I don't know if I remember our first kiss. It was definitely the first time she came down to visit for Arizona, to, uh, in Arizona. But it's kind of sad that I don't remember our first kiss. Kind of depressed about that, but whatever. We kind of started our little thing then but we didn't date for like until like two years after that. So I decided to move down here and just see what happens and it ended up working out. And then, I mean, I moved here, I was living here for probably three or four years before I decided to, you know, actually get married and stuff. So kind of just never have rushed anything in my life and just took my time to thinking about everything else. So one day at a time. While we were dating, you know, maybe like two years into our relationship, we talked about getting married. And I had always told him that I wanted to get married or I wanted to get engaged at my graduation party. So obviously he does he doesn't really he's not very creative. It's okay. It's okay. She had so much on her mind with school and graduation that she did wasn't even thinking about it, so it wasn't too difficult. And then like Derek comes up from behind me and he like taps me on the shoulder and I turn around and before like he engaged me, he had told me he had bought this car piece that was like all this money. And I knew that our engagement was coming up, so I was like, we had, I'd been pissed at him for forever. I turn around and he's like, yeah, you know that car piece that I, I forgot what it was that he was gonna, that he bought. Well, oh, maybe it was like a turbo or something that he said he bought. And it, like, we had this huge thing in our garage, so I thought that like this big cardboard box was his turbo. So I thought for sure he bought it. And so he's like, remember that turbo that I said I was gonna buy? Well, I didn't, I bought your ring instead. And then he got on one knee and then <laughs> proposed to me, so it was very romantic. But it was, we had all of our family and friends around us. I would describe her as um, very hard-headed, um, which is a good thing when you know what you want. And uh, she's very loving. She uh, loves her family and loves uh, her um, nephews and um, she's going to be a really good mother one day, so um, I would say loving and, and stubborn at the same time. Derek is very hardworking um, and he would do anything for anybody. He would, uh, I remember like when it um, snowed out, um, he would like pull over and pull people out of ditches. And he just likes to do the nice things for people just because he's a nice guy. I'm good at acting like I'm listening. Yeah, you yeah, whatever. I, although I know when you're not listening to me. If I had to describe Lindsay, I can't really do it in one word, but uh, I could definitely say crazy. Yeah, I mean, crazy and, you know, crazy, normal at the same Jesus time. Christ. Crazy yet, I guess, uh, beautiful at the same time though, so that helps. Gee, thanks, babe. Okay, if I had to describe Derek in one word, it would be muscular, and that is the only reason that I'm marrying him. Hmm. <laughs> well, it looks like it's time to start drinking more beer. <laughs> Jesus. So my future looks like getting married on June 7th and hopefully having a baby by July. <laughs> um, that ain't gonna work. I want, I mean getting pregnant by July <laughs> not having a baby by July. Yeah, you're, she's not very good at math. So. <laughs> I want four kids really bad, but Tarek says no. And so I think we've settled on three, three kids. That's max. I would have to say it's kind of 50, 50, like, I mean, there's certain times where I'm like, no, I'm not doing this. Like, you know, I have to draw the line sometimes. And sometimes I'll go with it. I may not like it, but I'll go with it. But I mean, she kind of does the same too. So like, I like to go to the car shows and stuff and sometimes she'll come with me. So it's, I know she doesn't really like doing that the most, but. There's a lot of stuff that I want him to do that he absolutely hates doing. We probably fight the whole entire way there but then we're done and it's fine. It ends up working out um, and then same goes for him. I don't necessarily like going to car shows all the time, but I do. And if they're new cars, I have a lot more fun. If they're old cars, it's Derek just tells me about them and then we move on to the next car. So one thing I want to let Derek know is that I know he thinks I've been a complete bridezilla and a pain in his rear end. 
um, throughout this wedding planning, but he has stuck by me through it all. And um, so I just really respect the fact that you've been, um, you've sucked up everything this whole entire wedding planning. And I could not be more thankful that I'm marrying you. I have never been so sure of something in my life. And we all know I'm very unsure about a lot of things in life. And I always have to ask other people's opinion. And this is one thing I don't need my family's opinion on, on if I should marry you. I know that it's the right thing. And I cannot wait to start a family with you. I know you'd be the best dad and the best husband. And I have no doubt in my mind that we'll get through everything that comes our way as we have in the last five years. And I love you so much. And that will never change. Um, I just want Lindsay to know that she needs to just enjoy the day and the time, um, everything in the moment, um, not think about anything that could go wrong because something will always go wrong and not to stress over it and just enjoy the day and all the hard work you've put into the day. I just want to say that I love you and you are everything and more that I could hope to marry um, and be in my life. Um, and I hope that we can have a everlasting marriage together and always keep one another happy. And I love you. <laughs>